after today's video, head over to Amazon and check out my new book, Trailer Park Parable. It is now available for pre-order. If you want the audiobook or the ebook, be sure to follow me over on Amazon. Tyler Zed, you can just click follow and that will be available within the next couple months. Enjoy today's video. Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy Sunday. Welcome to Z Education and welcome to another episode of You Laugh, You Lose. If you are new to this channel and new to this series, the game is simple. If you laugh at anything, you lose, you do a punishment. What is today's punishment? Well, you guys, I'm feeling really, really generous today. It's the first day of October and you guys killed it with the merch. There's no merch left. You guys sold out the whole place. It's insane. So no punishment today. All right. And the merch store may be shut down until next spring, early next summer, but my book is still available for pre-order. If you have not yet, and you are interested in the Zeducation Origins story, how did this channel get to be where it is? How did the Deve channel come about? Head over, pre-order my book, Trailer Park Parable. I have never been more proud of anything that I've ever worked on. And I'm very, very excited for you guys to read this book. Again, if you are looking for the ebook or the audiobook, that will be coming shortly. And I'll let you know when that is available. If you are ready for today's game, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. If you laugh, you lose, go. Punctuation, it saves lives. Crocodiles do not swim here. <laughs> Crocodiles do not swim here. It's safe, guys. Crocodiles don't swim there. <laughs> For the love of God, don't swim there, please. Nine out of ten husbands agree that their wives are always right. The tenth husband hasn't been seen <laughs> since the study was conducted. <laughs> R.I.P., brother. R.I.P. <laughs> when your teacher says your project can be about anything you want, how much sawdust can you put in the Rice Krispie Treat before people notice? <laughs> I actually want to know that. Because they're doing it. You know they're doing it. Like, come on. You're selling millions of something. If you sprinkle some sawdust in there, you shave a few pennies here and there, that's, that's thousands of dollars in profit, man. My kids will never know that awful feeling of realizing there's no VHS tape behind the box at the video store. Dude, they will never know. You went to the store and they had like 30, like if it was a brand new movie or a big blockbuster, they would have like 30 or 40 movies. And then you'd have to go and see if there's a VHS behind it or DVD. There's nothing behind it. You can't rent it. So you got you had to get there right away to get those new releases. Home is where you trust the toilet seat. <laughs> Some people, that's the only place. Uh, what the hell's going on? Next. I'm not going to talk about it. This is a professional show. We're not talking about toilet humor anymore. Person. So you just look at memes all day instead of socializing. Me. It's a piece for life. There's nothing wrong with having a few memes for breakfast, okay? Or, you know, the all-day buffet. Spread them. Share them. I think if aliens ever come to Earth and want to speak to our leader, we send Jack Black. I just have a weird feeling he could handle the situation. Does Kyle get to go with him for all you Tenacious D fans? I would say yes. You got to put Kyle with him. Not the worst idea. It's way better than sending Joe Biden. I'll say that. We do not want Joe Biden to meet the aliens for us. I was in a very bad mood today. Then my three-year-old walked over, handed me a rock, patted my face and said, Mommy, you're perfect. Here's a present for you. And I smiled. And then I realized the rock was a cat turd. <laughs> <laughs> It's the thought that counts, man. That three-year-old has a heart of gold, even if it can't tell the difference between a cat turd and a freaking rock. Gold digger Barbie, because that dream house and pink Corvette ain't cheap. It happens, man. You see the reverse role sometimes. Uh, the older woman and the younger man occasionally these days, but I guess if you got no skills, no whatever, do it. I'm not saying that's the right thing. I'm not saying what just love is love, man. Aww. Did you know you can fly from any airport without announcing it on Facebook? <laughs> Good. Social media etiquette. Don't post the fireworks videos. Don't post your plane videos. Everyone knows what a plane looks like. 
You, you want to know, people want you to know that you're traveling, right? You're, you want people to know you're traveling. I bet you would be really motivated if the weight you lost went to somebody you don't like. Ooh. Ooh. If we ever find that genie, we got like a list of of uh, wishes for the genie here. If we ever find a genie. If anyone ever finds a genie, put this as one of your three wishes. It'd be really motivating. That's just all I'm saying. When a post includes, I bet none of my friends will share this. Rest assured, I won't. There was a weird time, like back when everyone was getting email for the first time, where those viral emails would go around and you'd forward it to your whole list of people. And people would do it. I don't like why why would you do that? If you if you don't share this, you're gonna have 10 years of bad luck. If you don't share this, you're you're not gonna win a million dollars. Shut up. The, the, when people share these still, like we're past that phase of the internet. We're past it. Stop sharing these. This is a meme checkpoint. Show us your recent memes saved on your phone. Checkpoint meme. What's the most recent meme? Uh, at me, at Real Tyler Z on Twitter. Send your recent meme. Your recent meme. This is what we got to do. We got to we got to shake you guys down here. Make sure you're uh, you're sharing the right stuff. The last thing you ate is what you have to name him. Ravioli had ravioli last night. Right, that's a, that's a perfect name for that little puppy. Ravioli. What else? Um, had some soup yesterday. I haven't had breakfast yet this morning, so. I mean, there's a lot. That's a, that's a cute little puppy. That's a ravioli. That's his name. Having a bad day? At least you're not the guy filling up a blow-up doll at a free air pump. This guy lose a bet? It's uh, fantasy football punishments for taking last place? Or is this uh, somewhere in San Francisco? Nothing makes me feel more like an idiot than when I am in bed texting and I drop the phone on my face. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not a good uh, good thing to do. Yeah, don't do that. That hurts. Here's a couple photos of what an engine looks like after your teenager adds windshield wiper fluid in the hole that says oil and then drives it until the engine stops, just in case you are wondering what that looks like. It's like a batch of guacamole gone wrong there. If you don't know where the fluid goes, don't try to do it yourself. It will end up poorly. Very badly. That's that's a thousand dollar mistake right there. Like tens of thousands possibly, depending on what car it is. When you sleep four hours a night and think coffee will fix it, coffee man, it, it, it fixes it for like an hour, and then the caffeine wears off and you get tired. And... <sighs> Dogs are welcome in this hotel. We never had a dog that smoked in bed and set fire to the blankets. We never had a dog that stole our towels and played the TV too loud or had a noisy fight with his traveling companion. We never had a dog that got drunk and broke up the furniture. So if your dog can vouch for you, you're welcome too. I guess I was going to say never had a dog, you know, you've had a dog poop in there, but I mean, people could do that too. Disgusting. Casting agent. So there's a role, but this movie honestly seems really awful and Nicholas Cage, I'm in. Dude, all right, he's done some bad movies, yes, but have you seen Gone in 60 Seconds? Con Air? Little bit cheesy, little bit over the top. Good movie. Um, National Treasure, right, is that it? Is that the movie? Is the one and two? Great movies. I, it, he's not, it's not that bad. I don't, you know what, I like, I like Nick Cage. Nicky Cage ain't bad. I cannot believe Bob Barker lived as close to 100 as possible without going over a little dark, but you know what? If I were Bob Barker, you know, and I, if I had to pick away, that'd be it. That's just a poetic, a little bit. RIP, Bob Barker. Instagram, please stop suggesting me people you may know. Yes, I know them, but I don't want to like them. <laughs> They're relentless on there too. Like you see the same people you may know every time. You can like X them out too, and they still pop up. You've been kidnapped. The characters from the last TV show you watch are trying to rescue you. Who has come to save you? I think we've had this before. Um, but it, honestly, this is a, this is a true story. Um, this is the, the God's honest truth. Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen. Yeah, that's... Swear to God, my wife and I are rewatching it. You know, put on an episode here and there. Parents, you've got mail on the table. The mail. Parents, can you stop doing this? I will say, if the parents are paying the bills for you, they can do this. 
That's just the unwritten rule. I mean, when the wife's out, three more to go. Jeez. Is it worth the water bill these days, huh? Cleaning off those uh, those rims, huh? Ruin a first date in four words. I love Joe Biden. That's, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> do not clip that. Don't clip that. Anyone who clips that, you're banned. You're banned from this channel. How to frighten the new generation. Put them in a room with a rotary phone, an analog watch, and a TV with no remotes. Then leave directions on how to use in cursive. You know, kids in school today, yes. I might be able to make it. I think I could work the rotary phone. What did I call it? You guys all laughed. Oh, uh, an analog watch. What's an analog watch? This is like a regular watch. That has, you know, the hell's an analog watch. And a TV with no remote. Easy. Easy. Having a teenager is like living in a haunted house. Every now and then you'll see a figure in the corner of your eye, followed by a moaning sound, and then a door will slam shut. <laughs> Any uh, parents of teenagers out there? Can you confirm or deny this? Is this, you know, got a couple years left to this phase at our household, but never let an elbow ruin a photo. What a photo. Perfectly timed elbow there. Or it's the big nose. I don't think that's a big nose though. On this day in music history, Ozzy was probably on something. I can't say that's wrong. You can't. Oh, is it Sharon? Guy's still kicking, man. I think he's still planning to go back on tour. He paused it for a bit, but friends don't let friends leave home wearing short socks and sandals. Sometimes it's kind of cold out, you know, you want your toes to stay warm. Where are the socks and sandals, man? Who cares? My doctor told me to watch my drinking, so I'm off to find a bar with a mirror. <laughs> if your doctor actually said that, don't do that. Are groceries good for you? Been eating a lot of groceries recently. Is this healthy? <laughs> question mark, question mark. I hope that's fake. It depends, man. If you get out of the, you know, the vegetable area, the vegetable and the meat area, probably not. There's added sugar in it. High fructose corn syrup, probably not good for you. That's what most groceries are, but what a, what a dumb question. Me, almost late for work. The guy in front of me at the green lights. <laughs> Never stop making these memes, please. Go, Mitch. Damn it, the light's green. You miss it. When your memes aren't directly aimed at anyone and people start getting angry. Maybe I'm, I just, this one's so sweet to me. I love this. I freaking love, I love when people get offended at the jokes. I just, it's something in me. Maybe it's a bad trait. I don't know. But if you can't take a joke, you're hilarious to me. You're really funny when you're angry and you're melting down. I know nobody in this audience does that. I, I know that, but elsewhere is what I'm saying. I'm this old. Okay, what in the hell is this? I have no idea what this is. What in the hell? I, I'm guessing it's like a plate or something. I don't know what these little indents are. Um, I don't know. Can you old timers in the comments let me know what this is? Breaking. The new iPhone will have all day use when plugged in. The new iPhone will have all day use when plugged in. <laughs> Dude, I'm actually... The new iPhone that changed... The charging port, they're, they're, it's such a scam. The accessories that come with it. Drives me nuts, man. Me, on the phone with my mom. When are these kids going to be less needy? My mom. Well, you're in your mid-30s on the phone with me, so. <laughs> Mom's out there, is this true? Your kids still call you in their 30s? Been using it wrong all this time. See, they don't want you to know that. They don't want you to know that's how it's supposed to be. The problem here is now your toddler is right by the TV. You never know what's going to happen with that. That's a, that's a danger zone. If you can't see the number, you are tired. See it. Two sad. Three need love. Four need a new president. I can't see the number. Classic meme. Classic joke. Uh, yes. Can any of you see number four? Uh, no, none of you can because it's not there because we all need a new president. Yes. Driver is old. Can't hear your horn. Can't see your finger. Have a nice day. <laughs> uh, you know, keep some distance from that vehicle. And I mean that with all due respect. And they're acknowledging that they're a problem on the road. 
you're paying the dentist a lot of money. Go ahead and fart. <laughs> I did not expect that. Grow up. I know this is disgusting. This does not belong in education. Yuck. Pew. Me after one Popeye's biscuit with no drink. <laughs> I said this on the morning show, but you, the, my favorite part about this, Mexico said, hey guys, we have real alien bodies. And nobody said, whoa, that's cool. That's crazy, dude. No one was mind blown. Nobody got scared or terrified. Most people just yawned, moved on. And then my favorite people were the ones that mocked it by making memes like this. That was our first reaction. Our first reaction wasn't to take it serious. It was like, oh, there's aliens? Oh, well, here's an awesome meme. I love it. This is what we do, guys. This is how you live. This is what you do. Screw them. Screw the aliens. <laughs> if you won front row tickets to any concert, who would you go see? Who would I go see? Who would I go see? Like anyone of all time? Anyone of all time? Is that? Well, I just watched the Elvis movie. So maybe BB King from there? Nah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not that big. Uh, Dave Matthews. Love Dave Matthews. Let's just go. Yeah, you know, yeah, the, t the stereotypical bro music. Yeah, I love Dave Matthews. I'll never buy an electric guitar. Only gas guitars for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't cave, man. The, the electric guitars in the wintertime, they don't do as well. They can't haul as much. You go go gas guitar for sure. I go back to the previous meme, Jimi Hendrix. There we go, Jimi Hendrix. I, I got to see him shred, man. When the guitar is on fire, got to see it. So who knew what these are? Dude, what the hell is up with the flashback today? It looks like, is it uh, one of those glow sticks that you crack and you throw, you know, on your night mission? That's what it looks like. Is that what it is? What is this? Old timers down in the comments again. God, please, Europe. Hello, sir. Where am I? North Korea. <laughs> poor kid. Oh, speaking of poor kid, California explained. Upscale beach community with insane rents. Meth. You're only here because you are driving to a national park or Las Vegas. Also meth. I thought that was like farm country. Is that all farming in California? You got the mountains up there, you know, or the Lake Tahoe area, right? Desert down below. Anyone from California, is this true? Me, when people ask me why I'm not a liberal. <laughs> Economics and logic. Logic is a hell of a, a science there. Right over lots of people's heads. Economics, you're, now we're asking for too much. Basic economics. That mother effer right there is not real. They took the body scans, man. They said it's a it's a non-human life form. I'm just telling you what they did. They did the x-rays. The, they did all that. It's out there. I don't know what it is. I don't care. Keep making the memes. Great meme right here. Whoever made this. My name's Carol. Really cool. I'm also Carol. Me too. Hi, I'm Carol. Sweet Caroline. Bow, bow, bow. Dumb. Dumb meme, but you can't not sing with it. You have to. From our Vietnam trip, our guide popped out of a VC tunnel to jokingly scare the vets. Dad yelled at him for 10 minutes. Dude. That, okay, that is a messed up prank right there, especially if you have some Vietnam vets with you. You're lucky that all he did was yell at you, man. Remember Ice Cube? This is him now. Feel old yet? Elon Musk shared this meme and Ice Cube had a meltdown. Literally, I don't even, this kind of goes with the meme here. Ha ha. He freaked out. He was angry about it. So I share this meme in honor of Ice Cube. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like the memes. He gets offended. They saw an opportunity and they took it. 800B. Yeah. Anyone that grew up with the old calculators in, in class. Oh, 8085. Zero, zero, eight, ha, ha 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 But I didn't read this. Women's care specialist. Mammogram ultrasound. Boob. Oh, that's so funny. So funny. So stupid. My wife thought they all needed to be at a hundred. Ha do not drive that. How are your tires not bulging? How have they not exploded? That is a huge problem. <laughs> that is a problem. And it could be a very expensive one if you gotta change your tires. Remember the one dollar bill? This is it now. Feel old yet? Fact check true. It's, uh, you know, 
$10 will get you a Sodi. Sodi Pop. How satisfied are you with our network quality coverage, reliability, speed in your area on a scale of five? Very satisfied to one. Very dissatisfied. One. <laughs> get another tower over there. The Mayans predicted Lil Wayne. Jeez. Doesn't he have a song where he says he's an alien? Pretty sure he does. Being nice is overrated. Just find a good lawyer and choose violence. I think some people probably, like, they do that. They, they you know, they know the law. They have a good lawyer who can skirt the law and bend the rules. <clears throat> OJ. Let's get married and have kids so instead of relaxing during weeknights, we can go to seven practices and <laughs> relearn algebra. <laughs> part of it man it's part of it I don't, I'm not gonna you know not gonna have kids it's too hard hey it's part of it dear auto industry please bring the ball chiller vent back thanks men everywhere uh, never owned a vehicle with this vent on there uh, but that's I guess it's na that's the name of it and uh, I don't, they don't have them in vehicles anymore little known fact Jack the Ripper was called that because he farted a lot what in the hell is going on with the fart memes today? Grow up. All of you, grow up. This is a fact check true, yes. I don't know if you knew that or not. Sometimes I find a random screw line around my house, and I just assume it's from my life falling apart. <laughs> Come on, it can't be that bad, huh? Yeah, is it that bad? Just hang on, man. This is not life. This is... What the hell? Both of those give me, like, get, uh, a feeling of anxiety. No. I can't feed my family. Enjoy your IRS audit, Jack. <laughs> Statistically, uh, if you make, le like, less than the median income, I believe, less than 100 grand, you're way more likely to get audited. Uh, that's, that's also a fact. My dad is sitting outside in an inflatable hot tub listening to Dark Side of the Moon, and I get this effing text. Oi, turn the bathroom light off. I'm in there, stupid. Use a flashlight. You're killing the mood. <laughs> you don't mess with a man. Some Pink Floyd, some Led Zepp, man. Freaking brick in the wall, dude. Subtitles. Farting noise. Deaf people realizing that farting makes a noise. They've been cutting, uh, cutting in public. They had no idea. Okay, what is going on with these memes? That's not funny. Addy, 33, love God. Virgin, willing to change for the right person. Single mama. Does she know what a virgin means? Uh, if she does, feel bad for those kids. They don't have a chance. This is what it is. Today, I saved $238.19 by not going to Costco to buy deodorants. Honestly, I'm not... Go to, I would say go to Costco to buy deodorant. You're going to buy it in bulk, obviously, but I, I just tried to buy a deodorant and like there wasn't a stick under $6. And it was insane. I remember when it was like $1.50. Making hot dogs, making sweatpants, Kirkland's signature brand. Kirkland makes everything. I think it's the largest. It's a bigger brand than Nike even. And I, I think that's a true statement. Uh, like revenue wise. You know who else makes really random stuff? And I just found this out recently because we bought a bunch of boxes to ship all the merch. Uline. They make a lot of random stuff. Picnic tables, boxes, tape, pepper and salt shakers. Like, all over the board. Sig Newtons. I'm not gonna lie, that, sound, that looks good. I love Fig Newtons. I don't care what, you know, they're promoting to kids. It's fake, by the way. Relax. Relax, Fig Newtons. Don't sue us. Of all the possible utensils available to eat rice with, how the hell did chopsticks win out? That is a phenomenal question. How the hell did that happen? How'd you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you don't lose. No punishment today, because I'm feeling generous. Happy October, everybody. Also, if you have not yet, please head over to Amazon, check out my new book, Trailer Park Parable. I'm very excited about it. You can pre-order your copy today. The audiobook and the ebook are coming shortly, so you can pre-order that stuff here soon. Let me know how you did in today's game down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. 
That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. This is education. For the children. Idiots.